Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in Forza Horizon 4. We're going to do some dirt and cross-country races in the 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. That was a seasonal reward for this uh, summer season for C Series 12. For some reason I'm having a really hard time getting words out today. Well, as you can see, I ended up putting a police livery on it. I did go ahead and upgrade it to the top of A class. Um, there's not really a ton of upgrades you can do to this thing, so I didn't want to waste time doing a build video. I figured we'd get more racing in today and not worry about going over every little detail. It's just the normal stuff I do, full drive tray and pretty much all the suspension. I didn't really lighten it at all. Um, as you can see on the body, I did the wide body kit, did the light bars, off-road race tires. Um, I don't believe I upgraded tire width at all because these are pretty wide right off the bat. And that basically covers the build. I mean, we're just doing this to have fun, show the vehicle off a little bit, see what it's capable of and how it handles. So let's go ahead and jump into this little dirt event I set up over here. I was really wanting to do online adventures for this thing, at least do like one series, but it is extremely hard to get put in ranked online adventure or even a custom adventure that's gonna be A-class or cross country. And after like 10 attempts of trying to get into a session, I finally gave up and figured I'd just make some uh, custom events where we can run this thing in the dirt and in the cross country. So you can see we're here at the Derwent Trail or Derwent Water Trail. It's a pretty fun little section of racetrack, so I wanted to go ahead and do the first event over here in the dirt series. That way we can see how this thing handles on and off road. Oh, I thought I didn't get that checkpoint for a second. That was so close. So you can see this first stretch here is just not super crazy. Nice little rally stage, basically. It's got some nice jumps to it. Nothing too crazy, though. Really tests the handling of your car, too, and the, if you're actually able to control it and pitch the front and rear where you want them to go to get through here quickly. It is a very tight section though, especially with a bunch of SUVs running through it. Who gained a lot of speed coming through there with that little Scandinavian flick. Helped us maintain a lot of speed. Rocks just about took us out. I think those BMW SUVs, Eric, I, I think it's the X5, the newer ones, they look so weird from the back. They almost look more like a, almost like a Prius, I want to say, at least from a distance. Up into fourth place now, battling with this BMW for third. Yeah, you chickens better get out of the road. <laughs> it looks like we have a Land Rover here in front of us, or Range Rover. I can never remember which. I'm not the biggest fan of SUVs, so I don't really keep up with what's what. I do know it's one of those, though. <laughs> oh, I gained a lot on him there, but I don't think we're going to be able to nose past him before the finish. Oh my gosh, he tried to push me off into the barrier. I don't know what's wrong with the AI today.
All right, for this event, we're at the Cro or Coastal Rush Cross Country event. I did just create a blueprint that would let us use the Sport Utility Heroes in it. Let's see how we can do here. This is a pretty fun little circuit, or uh, it's not really a circuit, but track layout, I guess. I don't really know what you'd call this a stage to run through, so let's see how we do. I guess it would kind of be considered like a rally stage almost. Oh, we got nailed by somebody. I'm pretty sure they were still pushing us there for a while. You gotta really watch out for some of these sand traps. Like that one right there will really chuck you off kind of crazy. I do like this build overall. It's a very balanced build. It's not really too overpowered it's not too much based around handling it's kind of just a little bit of everything it does have quite a bit of grip though but you can still get it sideways oh I hate that section sorry I recovered from it oh no oh no Oh, go ahead and rewind there since we are just in a little for fun race. Those tracks really, really pushed me out of the way. I needed to be on the brakes before them so I could pitch the front end over and I didn't do it. Thought we could get away with it. Oh, that jump did not do us very well. You could hear the thing just bottom out, especially the rear end. It is a very stable car when you're sliding it, though, I do have to say. It makes it a ton of fun to drive around. Probably has a decent amount to do with that wide body kit, giving us a little extra crack with. You gotta love the shot of the stick coming across the finish line sideways in a police truck, or SUV. We're going to be here at Asmore Rally Trail for this event. Luckily this one I didn't have to make a blueprint for. You can already run this one in Sport Utility Heroes. That's a very fun trail to run though too. It's got some very, very tight technical bits. It's also got some decent little straightaway or less technical I guess really. There's not really much straightaways on this course if I remember right. But you do have some nice like sweeper sections where you can carry a lot more speed. Durango's being very, very aggressive there. We'll give him a little bit of room so we can get through this little section here. Although we got Don Joe One Song's drive guitar up there. It's an honor to race even with his drive guitar. So I'm kind of regretting, ooh, I didn't realize we were coming up on that tight of a corner. <laughs> so I am realizing now I probably should have took a little bit less power and went with a little bit more weight reduction in this thing. I think it would have really helped out in the acceleration department. So we got the top speed. I mean, we do have decent acceleration, but a lot of these guys can just easily ex out accelerate us. Here's where we should be able to start making up some time though, since we're coming up into the little really tight dirt section. And this thing is really set up more for this than it is for anything else. Got real close to him there. He's getting all over my fender. Looks like a whole fleet of cop cars up here in the top three right now. Looks like we got a couple undercover Durangos or something. And then me following behind with the marked 
uh, Byron Bay police vehicle. Oh, they really parked it going into that corner. I was going to try to slide around the inside and overtake them, but they just did not leave me anywhere to go. There we go. Man, just barely squeezed through that time. So yeah, well, this isn't really the best all-around vehicle. It does do very well here in the sections like this where we're in the dirt, especially when you can get it sliding sideways. We can carry a lot more speed than any of them through the turn just because we can slide it. And we got all-wheel drive to keep us pulling through. Coming up on the last corner before the finish. Little weight shift down through the finish line. That was actually a cool little manji almost. That's another thing I've realized a lot about this build. It's very easy to Scandinavian flick or even just weight transfer into a slide. It's actually about the easiest way to get this thing around the corners. Alright guys, this is going to be the last race we do in this video. As you can see, we're here at Cotswold's Road Rally Trail. Let's go ahead and jump in, see if we can score another win. Better make sure my wheel's centered before we get started. So I want to do something a little different on this one. It's a little bit more road racing section into this than the last few races we did in this thing. I want to see how it handles on road now since we took a cross country. We took it through quite a bit of dirt section. power through it. <laughs> Started to understeer a little bit there, had to give it a little tap of the brakes and downshift to bring the nose back in. This thing is just so much fun to drive, even if it's not the fastest off-road A-class vehicle, it definitely is a ton of fun to drive with how you can slide this thing around and how stable it is. It's a very balanced car, which is really surprising considering we're still at like 4,600 pounds, I want to say. Try to keep this race pretty clean here, so I didn't want to just dive into his bumper even though we could have easily took that corner with more speed. Really got to get out from behind that Durango in these corners. He's slowing me down a lot. Oh, that was an amazing overtake. That was a beautiful overtake, too. It's been a very good race so far. Pretty clean. Coming into the downhill section on road. Let's see if we can give this thing a little Scandinavian flick through here. I think we have enough of a lead. We shouldn't have to really worry about being overtaken. We can throw a little style points in there. It's a beautiful little slide. Well guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys like these kind of videos. They're a lot of fun for me to film, just doing some random racing and different vehicles. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.